Hi, I'm Stuart McConaughey, and today I'm going to show you how to drill a precision one inch hole in 6AL4V titanium. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. The cool thing about it is this is a rocket part. We have four large holes that go 1.75 deep and a diameter of one inch. These holes are very precise. They have a tolerance of plus minus five tenths. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to drill and then in a separate video, I'm gonna show you how to bore a beautiful one inch hole with an advanced Kenno Metal boring head. So the indexable drill that we're gonna to use today is the Kenno Metal DFSP drill. This drill is really cool because it has an inboard and an outboard insert that are designed for each specific application. This square outboard insert, easy to change, easy to use, and it has this really awesome Trigon style inboard insert. The cool thing about this is it has this unique shape which allows the drill to be super stable whenever we're going into our metal. One of the best features I like about this drill. So now that we got our 984 drill, we're gonna run it in this titanium and let's get ready to do it. I'm holding down this titanium rocket part with four and fan edge Mighty Bite clamps. These are really cool because they slide into the table and lock down. So you don't need a vise or anything else. They can just pop right in. Since they're also at an angle and they have the cam lock on them, they put 4,000 pounds of force in and down, which holds this perfect for when we're drilling. This drill is great for titanium. We use it all the time making aerospace parts. We love it. It's kind of a standard and a common known thing that whenever you're drilling harder metals, that the drill will run a little bit small to whatever size it is. So knowing that, we're gonna double check it at the end so that way we know right where we need to be. So I just got done drilling this piece of titanium. I know that whenever we're drilling harder metals, they tend to run a little small. So I have my 982 pin, and this is what I'm gonna to use to check it, make sure it's perfect. Nice. So my pin goes in, not too tight, perfect all the way down. Awesome, that's the sound you wanna hear. So I know that that bore is exactly 982. Stay tuned and in our next video, we'll show you how to program, set up, and use an advanced Kenna Metal boring head.